about a kilo and a half weight difference, 73.1 for Arthur, Whelan 71.6. But the fight difference, well, there's 20 fights between, the difference between them. Arthur's had 33, and that Pabio's had 13. So Arthur, little red tassels around his um, shorts. Slightly looks like a dress, to be honest. Oh, good little body shot. Slightly off balance from Arthur. Good right hand there from Pabio. Hard action in the corner. Oh, again the right hand from Whelan. Guaranteed fireworks this contest, I can tell you. Nice little straight kicks coming from Arthur. Trying to keep Pabio at bay. But Pabio likes coming in. Throwing the big right and left hooks. Which he does there. Again the right hand from Pabio. Got Arthur in the corner covering up. Can he get to his man? Referee jumps in, gives him a count. A standard eight count. So the action continues here in the first round. Arthur's had 27 wins, three losses, three draws. And Whelan's had four wins, nine losses. Surprising really when you see the amount of punches he's throwing and the hard shots he's throwing. Maybe the wrong end of a few decisions. So both men looking for the openings. But Arthur's not using his reach as much as he can do. He's nice and tall, long and rangy. But he's not using his reach to his advantage. So at the end of the first round, we're going to the corner of Mick Arthur from Basildon Kickboxing Club, just up the road. We have 15 fights here tonight at the Circus Tavern. Kickboxing show organised by Steve Kerridge from the Averley Kickboxing Club. So we're coming up the second round now. Arthur against Pabio. Nice shots. The referee hasn't had to give him a warning or anything. Nice accurate shots, good kicks, nice punches. Always a pleasure to watch two good fighters. And these guys come into that category. Again, then right hooks to the body from Whelan. Awkward little roundhouse kick, spinning. I'd like to see Arthur get a little bit more control of them punches. He's just basically flick them out. He's not putting any weight behind them. But you can see Whelan does, he throws a good right hand, and again! And I must say, these stats don't do these two guys justice. A 
how Papio's lost nine out of 13, I don't know. Short and squat, muscular shoulders, throws good left and right shots to the body and the head. And again, he's thrown right hand. He's got Arthur backed up against the ropes. Another count's coming in. Referee's going to give him another eight count. So the end there of the second round. We're going to the corner of William at Pabio. So the third and final round between these two. Mick Arthur with a red little tassels around the, the tracksuit bottoms, red gloves, William Pabio, blue gloves, short and squat. So again, Pabio coming forward, left and right hooks. And Arthur, back in the way, just throws a little jab out every now and then. But he needs to put more power into his shots. If he wants to keep someone back, you've got to throw good shots, hard shots. Again, a little back kick again, coming from McPabio. to the head, fantastic shot, we're not going to see many like that, what a cracking spinning shot to the head, well that's the third knockout we've had here tonight, William at Pabio, a great little shot, we said his record doesn't do him justice. He's had four wins out of 13 fights. Now, 14 fights, five wins. And what a little KO that was. So the medics on the ball. Notice that every time tonight, straight in there. As soon as the guy goes down, they're straight over there. And that's good to see. That's what they're there for. And that's the whole point of having safety in kickboxing and boxing and any martial arts sports. That's good. He's sitting up. That's always good to see. Good, he's up and standing now. Still a little bit groggy. 